so hard. You have to suffer silently. I don't think anybody realizes how difficult it is for the families. You see other people on TV and think it only happens to others. But when it's your own child, it's not easy. There's not a lot what we know about EPD. We do not know what causes it, uh, how it starts. So far, we have not found a cure yet. EPD is a rare disease that scientists believe originated somewhere in Japan, but quickly showed up in the United States, the United Kingdom, and many more advanced countries. We found out our daughter had EPD when she was about nine years old. She was a normal, healthy kid. We didn't know anything was wrong until then. We were typical and happy, proud parents. We took photos, videos. I think Marissa noticed it first. Uh, I brushed her off, but I thought it was something wrong with the camera. Persons afflicted with EPD, extreme pixelation disorder, find certain body parts, mostly their faces, highly pixelated almost as if their identity is being hidden. Most people, when they see an EPD patient in a photo or a movie, don't recognize the issue at first glance. When I saw the pixelation, I thought it's just the producers didn't get a release, or it, maybe people didn't want to show their faces in the movies or something. I didn't realize it's a disease. Man, that's scary. The sufferers, these victims of EPD, we don't like the term victims. It's not nice. These innocent people, pixely challenged, uh, differently pixelated. Could it be of overexposure to digital cameras? We do not know. We do know Japanese love taking lots of photos. We just do not know. We did notice one strange trend. For some strange reason, EPD is almost non-existing in economical underdeveloped countries. Like Somalia, Tanzania, Malawi, Congo, etc., etc. Masa, there's no money for camera. We don't have money for camera. We're ready first. Food comes first. We are also not sure if EPD is contagious. <laughs> Do I think it's contagious? Uh -huh. No, no, I mean, uh, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I, I touch everything and everyone, and they all seem okay. <sighs> I don't think it's contagious at all. No, I, I really don't think there's anything for people to worry about. As a mother, you miss so many things. You want to touch your child's face gently, but you can't feel anything. You want to help her dress for the prom and help her put on her lipstick, but with EPD, you can't find the lips. It's really weird. As far as we know, EPD affects mostly the face. You know, it's not always as obvious as it seems. You see, this is the face, yeah? And it starts mostly here and goes around here, sometimes in the eyes, sometimes even in the tongue. I see some guys whose face is all EP'd out. And I think, man, I am lucky that people don't know I got EPD. But I mean, this is quite, especially when you're out on a date and you're with a chick, you know? It's difficult. You know, there's no sensation. Sometimes I think to myself, why didn't I have my face EPD'd? So I've heard Botox does offer some relief for EPD. You know, I read that in the National Enquirer. Then it must be true. You know what, actually, you know who I read has EPD? Joan Rivers. <gasps> and, and Goldie Hawn. Really? Yeah, I heard about Goldie Hawn. I never would have guessed. You know what they must do? They must just get a quick little shot of Botox before they do these red carpets and photo shoots because they always look perfect. It must be good for a couple yeah. hours then. 
Hey mom, can I get Botox too? Sweetie, Botox is for people who have APD. Oh, fine. Yes, we are aware of Botox usage, but we do not know fully its side effects with EPD. Some, some of my colleagues believe it may result from EAD, what means extreme aging disorder. I believe Larry King is a good example for it. I've, I've been affected by EPD for, well, since, since I was a, a child and it's been tough. Every day presents a new challenge, I feel. Um, I mean, things that people take for granted. I mean, take for instance, my, I have a MySpace page and my profile picture is this. And I mean, honestly, no one wants to be friends with this. And let, let's face it, the, the oh, see, face, even I say it. Even, even the other site, frankly, that's, that's the one that really gets me. I mean, do they have to call it Facebook? I was fortunate because I found the love of my life in high school, which has made it easier for me. I think she understood me, which is what made it so good. She doesn't have EPD, she has BBD. And BBD is a lot like EPD, which frankly I think is what helped us get through that stage in our life. Yeah. Uh... I've had black band disease since I was a little girl, so I know what it feels like. It's the discrimination that I don't understand. I'll admit it, you know? I'm bandicapped. But they just don't understand. This, this has got to stop. Somebody has got to pass a prop for our children. Speaking of children, a year ago we were pregnant, and that brought up a whole new set of questions for us. I mean, were kids going to be normal? We were so scared. You know, you want, you want to provide every opportunity you never had for your children. And the, the opportunities that we couldn't have. And then we found out we were having twins. So Mary came out first, and she was quite normal. Beautiful face. Then we had our sister Kate. Two beautiful little girls. 